This is section 65 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Water Supply by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. Mr. Clemens visited Albany on February 27th and 28th, 1901. The privileges of the floor were granted to him, and he was asked to make a short address to the Senate. Mr. President and gentlemen, I do not know how to thank you sufficiently for this high honor which you are conferring upon me. I have for the second time now enjoyed this kind of prodigal hospitality in the other house yesterday, today in this one. I am a modest man and diffident about appearing before legislative bodies, and yet utterly and entirely appreciative of a courtesy like this when it is extended to me, and I thank you very much for it. If I had the privilege, which unfortunately I have not got, of suggesting things to the legislators in my individual capacity, I would so enjoy the opportunity that I would not charge anything for it at all. I would do that without a salary." I would give them the benefit of my wisdom and experience in legislative bodies, and if I could have had the privilege for a few minutes of giving advice to the other house, I should have liked to. But, of course, I could not undertake it, as they did not ask me to do it. But if they had only asked me, now that the house is considering a measure which is to furnish a water supply to the city of New York, why— Permit me to say I live in New York myself. I know all about its ways, its desires, and its residents, and, if I had the privilege, I should have urged them not to weary themselves over a measure like that to furnish water to the city of New York, for we never drink it. But I will not venture to advise this body, as I only venture to advise bodies who are not present. End of Water Supply by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman.